got his boss at home, Wayne Taylor. Hasn't missed a race for 22 years. And look at this, this is the 99 car. This is Bobby trying to weave his way back through the GT field who are battling it out at the front. This is what I was talking about before. You were talking about, Calvin, how he's going to really have a hard way to go. These GT cars are having their own fight. There's not a lot of room to get in there and mix with them. And it's the battle for the lead in GT. It's the 70 of Silva and Trimble in the black Mazda that leads John Edwards in the 57 Chevy Camaro and then right behind them, Wayne Nonabaker in another Mazda, the white, black, and red Mazda. Watch the line. Line. Watch him come, Brian. He's going to make a move here. He's got a bit more straightaway speed. We've documented it already with the 57, the Camaro. It just has to push that air down these straightaways. That little Mazda is fast, and Wayne loves this racetrack. Coming off the pole here last year in a second-place finish, ironically, with the guy right in front of him, John Edwards is his teammate. And Wayne Nonemaker, another one of those Pro-Am drivers that needs to get some credit because sometimes a little bit overshadowed by Dane Cameron, what he does, but Wayne, I can tell you, is one heck of a driver. And you can see it right now, battling with John Edwards right in front, not letting Edwards get away. you got to give credit to Nonemaker. One concern they had, what really bit them in the middle of Ohio, remember Dane Cameron went to the front there, he led that race. In the pit stop, it's taken him a long time to get